<laughs> What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt Deville with Gotta Punch Boxing News. And as you guys can see, this post from DS Spell or DS Pell 15, Anthony Joshua and Ryan Garcia <laughs> looking over the shoulder for Derek James with the eye emojis, trying to get Brian Bomack on the line. Bud the real deal. I've been telling y'all for the past five years. Now you know. <laughs> you guys need to stop, man. Listen, that is harsh and hilarious. Double H. <laughs> You guys need to cut that shit out, man. Man, look, <laughs> look, Derek has enough problems because you know he, life goes on. He has to build himself back up. He has to console his fighter, you know, ensure him that everything will be okay. And then you guys are making memes like this. Listen, the internet is undefeated. But let's talk about something very serious for a minute. How will this affect Derek James training moving forward. I mean, that was his star pupil. And a lot of people's uh, criticizing Derek James for his lack of response to Errol Spence's damage, his legs, uh, his eyes, his body language, and a lot of people question that, you know, a lot of people question, you know, where's his head movement, you know, then a lot of people now are really questioning. I think this is what spawned the post. It was supposed to be a trolling post, but it makes a lot of sense. Like, okay, why would they be going to Bomac instead of staying with Derek James? Now you guys know that I'm not a fan of bashing the trainer because the trainer's not in there. But if the trainer is not instructing, that means he's not a good instructor, okay? But, of course, Terrence Crawford is a special fighter, so you also have to acknowledge that. So, you know, you can't say Derek James is a shit trainer, then say Terrence Crawford is one of the best in the world, and at the same time make them make sense with he's not doing his job, you know, because those are kind of tearing, those are conflicting each other. That's a very, very big case of conflict, my friends. Because it's either Terrence Crawford just did all the right things and Errol Spence wasn't able to adjust or he wasn't able to adjust because Derek James wasn't telling him that. But then again, of course, it could be a little bit of this and a little bit of that. So, um, but yeah, he has other fighters. How would he train them? Will it affect his training methods? The way he looks at training overall? Will he change or try something new that these fighters got accustomed to? See, these questions need to be asked based on adversity. See, he never had to worry about Errol Spence losing. Sure, uh, Jermel Charlo, but Jermel Charlo, uh, I think, wasn't he with Derek James at that time? I'm not sure. Okay, so this may be uh, a new thing for him, especially with Errol Spence and how Errol Spence bounce back, bounces back and how they will uh, gel together. How will they communicate? What type of communication will they have? Will it be the same? Will they expect more? Will they expect less? That's the question you ask yourself. But this post, this meme is hilarious. You guys tell me what you think about it. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunch. Peace!